Hello everybody, this is Jonathan with Eyeball Live. In today's video, I'm going to show the addition of the Latin American stock markets to uh, the Eyeball Live platform. So I've just logged in right before hitting record. Um, once you're here on the dashboard, of course, if you ever have any questions about where anything is, you're able to screw through this uh, handy green and white ribbon. Uh, any questions, we're always at support at iVolatility.com. This will be your dashboard that you can pull from periodically. Um, here's latest news in the market. Um, here are some of your key tools. Uh, here's research that we put out. But if you want to go to find the Latin American market specifically, you would come here to iVol Live. And then when you're in iVol Live, it's going to bring you to a custom tab. With your custom tab, these are uh, that's different than our preset tabs. So these preset tabs would run screens, you know, top stocks by volume, implied volatility mean versus 20-day historical volatility, implied volatility historical range, uh, implied volatility change from yesterday, uh, and volatility skew. And so um, here on the custom tab, what's neat about this is you can decide what you want to see. Um, so if you read left to right, we're screening all instruments within a certain group, and this group that, the group that we're screening is B3, the Latin American market. So um, all of these are custom groups that I've set up here, which I'll show how to do in a moment. And then these in black are our defaults. These come stock and standard with your iVol Live subscription. So you can see we have all USA. We also have B3, we have Canadian stocks, we have German stocks, we have Indian stocks, NASDAQ, Russell 2000, uh, all the way down to TX60 up in Toronto. So I have selected uh, B3. Let's say you were on something else. Let's say you were all US. This would update. You know, if you accidentally clicked on it, or if you were looking for, you know, to, to go from Latin America to US, that's how you would do that. Um, anytime you need to get rid of a uh, preset group, you can come here, hit the X, delete, and that'll get rid of that that custom group um, that you've created. Uh, and it will allow, excuse me, it will allow all the, the presets here um, at the bottom. So you always have the custom groups you set up on top and then our stock and standard groups below that. I click back on B3. Here we go. This pulls up the Latin American market. From here, um, kind of the defaults are uh, you have the symbol, company name, exchange. You have the last price. You have the change in price if any. You have the implied volatility. You have the implied volatility change. You have IVP, you know, which is saying how significant is the current implied volatility. You know, anything, the closer to 100, the more significant this uh, IVX reading is. So you can see here we have, you know, these are the top five names in terms of their, um, you know, significant implied volatility reading at the time. Um, then we have our uh, historical volatility, our options open interest, that's our call option open interest, and then if we scroll to the right, uh, that's our put option open interest. Uh, and then we can add different, you know, so that's kind of, you know, the standard view. Uh, but then since this is custom tab, of course, you can decide what else you'd like to, to look at. So everything here is alphabetized, uh, starting, you know, with the numbers, of course, 10 delta skew. Uh, and then you can come down here and you could toggle any of these uh, it's green. So if you want to see, you know, beta, uh, we can go here, we can add beta. So I just, you know, again, just clicked simple click. Now that'll show we have change, we have company name, uh, you could do correlation, cumulative price, dividend amount, you know, so we could see if these pay dividends. Uh, let's go ahead and click that to green. Uh, we could get earnings per share all kinds of historical volatility and implied volatility measures. So depending on if you're a short term, uh, intermediate term or a long term trader, those could be very useful. Uh, we are called I volatility. So we have a lot of IVX and different implied volatility um, rankings that you could use. Uh, market cap could be helpful. So you, you know, you know, if you're looking at something with a large market cap or a low market cap. So let's put that to green. Uh, and then we have our previous close. Uh, and our put call volume ratio and quote time and shares outstanding. So those are the different things you could do. You can hit apply and it will apply to this one session or you can hit save as default and it will apply every time um, you uh, pull up a new tab within Eyeball Live. So let's go ahead and hit apply and you can see that um, those fields, if we scroll to the right, uh, these fields have been added. So um, we could now screen you know, by who pays the dividend, 
uh, which looks like none of that um, you know shows us data here. Uh, we could also screen by market cap. Um, you know, we can run the screen by. Uh, you can filter as well in ascending or descending order. Call up option open interest. So you could see Cogna has had a, a huge amount of um, calls trading today. Um, then you can also sort by my favorite IVP, which you know tells us where um, a lot of the the volume is. So that's ascending or descending. Um, and we know that, you know, Fleury, Movida, CEA, Carrefour, you know, these have uh, significantly high implied volatilities, which tells us something is going on with these names. So they could be worth um, further review. So if we, you know, want to add them to our to a further review, what we would do is first we'd create a new group and we'd say we could title this um, new Latin America new trading ideas. And I like to date it, you know, because with a lot going on, it's always helpful to have a date. So now we have this new group. So if we go back to, um, you know, so you'll see this pulls up, it's blank, of course. So now what we need to do is we need to fill it up. So we could go back to B, our B3 stocks. Um, we could come over here. Remember, we sorted in uh, descending order on, you know, where you know, these names on the Latin American market have a st uh, significantly high implied volatility. And then we could say, all right, we're interested in digging deeper. Let's take the top five. Let's add that to our group. So we will come here. Here's our group, hit add. Uh, and those have been added. The other thing we could do, which I'll, I'll, I'll go to that in a second, but the other thing we could do is um, if you have a file of stocks that you typically follow, as long as it's in CSV format, you can open that file and then you could add it to uh, this group, this Latin America New Trading Ideas group. So we have that as well. And let's go to that group just to show what that looks like. Um, I want to make sure I don't scroll over it. Here we go. All right, and now we have these one, two, three, four, five names that are very interesting because they have this implied um, volatility that's high, uh, significantly so. And so then we can connect and click here, and then this would bring us up to, you know, the stock itself. From here, you'll have the fundamentals on the left, you'll have the chart on the right, and the options chain below. And you could start um, evaluating the stock, you know, specifically, um, you know, looking at. Uh, all the names. If you hit back arrow, it's going to take you out of that view. Uh, and if that happens, which you know um, is one of the common questions we get, all you have to do is click on "I'm alive" uh, and come back, and, and it'll be right there. And so from this view, you know you can see we have a new tab that's pulled up. Um, that's separate from our tab here. Here are our five names we're evaluating, and then I clicked on this one specifically. Uh, of course, <clears throat> we can monitor. We can click on any of these. Um, here's Car Four. Um, and then again, you could pull up and expand and contract this view. We have five years worth of data, you know, with Ivo Live, uh, as long as it's available you know, to us, we, we display it here. You have price in blue, you have implied volatility in green, and you have historical volatility in orange. So you go as far out as five years. And then of course you can narrow that down one year, six months, three months, one month. And then on US equities, you could um, as, as, um, drill down to a day as well, a day in 24 hours. But here we could come down and we could see, you know, as, as price was coming down, implied volatility was going higher. So we can see that inverse relationship here using this um, stock, this car for uh, brawn as a underlying example. And then here would be the options chain. Within the options chain, you have the probability calculator. So you can play um, with different data sets um, to see, you know, this is the expiration on, on July 21st. We also have the uh, time skew chart, which would show pricing and implied volatility, you know, implied volatility here on the y-axis, days of maturity on the x. Um, and so you're able to view that as data is available. So you gotta make sure what you're analyzing is names um, with enough liquidity, and, you know, to show up on the system. Um, but that's where that data would lie. And then again, you could t add to and take away from here. Let's say we didn't want to look at Flurry anymore because it had relatively low volume. Put a check mark there, 
delete, and now we've got this down to four names. And then we can continue adding to this as our as our watch list and as our group. And then the beautiful thing about this is this new Latin American group that'll follow us, and we can analyze it in the sentiment analyzer uh, and the and as well as the real time spread scanner. So I'll show how to do that in a uh, follow on video. But for now, just know that uh, Latin American market has been added. You can run custom scans, create custom groups, and then by uh, clicking on the name you could do some further analysis on the individual underlying uh, stock. So this has been Jonathan with Ivo Live. I hope you enjoy this. Until next time, happy trading.